Growing up playing everything from basketball to ringette to soccer, five years ago I hadn't thought for a moment about elite bike racing. However, he had long harbored the dream of competing in the games. So in 2017, Mitchell signed up to attend RBC training camp in Toronto, a talent mix for various Olympic sports. Very soon she was introduced to her hitherto unknown ideal sports match. Although Mitchell met the endurance baseline for nearly every elite national prospect seeking program, including rowing, rugby, and canoe kayaking, it was his explosiveness, including his performance in a six-second bike sprint, that attracted attention of cycling explorers. Apparently, those metrics combined don't lie. A little over three years after Mitchell was invited to train alongside the best track cyclists in Canada, she announced herself as the best in the world on Sunday, winning a gold medal in the women's sprint at the Velodrome of Izu. On the final day of competition at these Olympics, Mitchell beat Ukraine's Olena Starikova in two consecutive races in the best of three final to win the 24th medal at the Canadian Games, a final piece of hardware provided by an accomplished latecomer. I decided to give it one last chance, to pursue the Olympic dream, Mitchell, 27, said some time ago, reflecting on his fateful trip to Toronto's talent identification camp. I decided to give it one last chance, to pursue the Olympic dream, now cycling considers Mitchell one of its elites. A few days after finishing fifth in the women's Kirin, a race in which her teammate Lori Ann Genest won bronze, Mitchell continued her remarkable athletic odyssey with the best performance on the big stage of her short but stellar career. A year after finishing near the podium in the women's sprint at the World Championship, where she finished fourth, Mitchell clinched a medal when she edged Germany's Emma Hinz by 0.176 seconds in the decisive third race of her best of three semifinal.